Version 2.0 of the machine software is compatible with the existing controllers within the machine range. This means that existing users get full access to the great new features available within the software. One of the new features within this software is the drum synths that have become available. And to access this, I'm going to go to the controller and we're going to place them on the individual pads. So I'm going to start with the kick drum. So shift and browse to bring up the plugin browser. And then I'm going to go down, select my kick and load it in. I'm going to move to the next pad and I'm going to load in a snare. Let's hit the load button and then so on through the pads. It's very quick, very easy. So second snare on this pad, and then we're gonna load in a hat on the next couple of pads. Finally, I'm going to load in some percussion. So now we have the sounds that I need loaded on the pads, and I can come out of browse here, and essentially I've now got full control over the synthesis. So we take the kick drum, kind of tuning and get the sound. The, the engines are fantastic. We've got this kind of sub engine, great for your kind of dance music styles, and then various other different types to choose from, including some great ones for using an acoustic drum kit. Well, I'm going to go back to my sub here. Now I'm going to use the step sequencer and I'm going to create a pattern. So we're going to get in with the kicks to start with. We're now going to move over to the uh, second pad here. So I need to select my second pad. And we can get a snare. And I'm going to do the same with the next one. And layer those up. I'm going to go to my hat. And I think we'll just do a straight 16 for now. And then I'm going to get my next one. Like so. And then I've got this percussion sound here. So I'm just going to put something in. It's very, very, very quick to work with. Now once these are in, we can go through, solo them up. So let's have a look at the percussion engine in here. So I'm going to come back out into control. Various different engines, the shaker, fractal, which I can tune. The decay on here. And also this is automatable. So for example, if I wanted to add something in around this, I could just bring in the auto right here. and it's that quick. So let me just bring this back in. We've also got the ability to choke and link the pads. So this means, for example, if I take my hi-hat, let me have a look at the choke side of this, I can go to pad mode, and on the controller here, I can group them together and set one of them to slave and one to master. Like this. Now I'm going to select this hi-hat and we can go in and program. So again, we've got some fantastic modes in here. Some classic 909 style stuff. Let me just go back into the pattern on this a minute. So the drum synths are a great new feature within here. You get a fantastic range of sounds out of them. Additionally, we've got this ability to choke the pads. So for example, we're using closed and open hi-hats. We can get a very realistic kind of feel to them. But we can also link pads together. So if I bring this back in again, let's have a look at these two snares. Now on this second snare here, go back into control. I have various different engines. So we have the Volt here, giving you that kind of classic drum machine style. Also some really great acoustic engines as well. And somewhere in here, there we have, we have the clap. It's a 
playing around with that a little bit there, like this. Now once I've got these, what I can do is link them together. So I'm going to go to my pad mode again, and this time on the right hand side of this display, I can use a group to link these. So this means that this second pad will play whenever the first one does. This is absolutely fantastic for layering up your sounds. Now let's go and have a look at the drum synths in more detail and I can do that by accessing the mixer page and you'll see that you then have the display there and if I change the pads you can see the software changing with it. So if I bring this in and we can go through and solo it up and you can see in a lot more depth here the parameters available. So we have the kind of pitch envelope, the pitch bend on the uh, kick itself, which gives us a full range of kick sounds. Now depending on the engine in use, parameters become available. So for the moment we're using this thin engine. We also then have access to thick, which adds a couple more controls. And you can kind of hear the, the kind of the transient knock coming out on here. I mean there really is an incredible range of drums available to you. We also then have a couple of others like the noise here and then have access to the decay. So for those kind of 808 style booming basses, bass drums, very, very, very quick to get to. Now moving on to the snares. We have that kind of 8080 one again, but we have a vast array of different engines to all sorts of flavors of snare drum. Even some kind of nice special effect types. And the great thing about this is you don't really need to know the synthesis involved. You just get in, get the sound you want, and move on with your productions. Some really nice sounding acoustic ones. And then as we've seen, Within here we also have hand claps. Same with the hats as we've seen. If I move this over, a couple of different engines. Get some sort of fairly electronic sounding ones here. And your classics too. And moving on to the percussion. As we've already seen, it's all automatable. But within this, we have access to the actual harmonics of the sound and FM frequency modulation and amplitude modulation as well. We also have harmonic and dissonant frequencies available. kind of almost ring modulated type of sounds coming out of this as well. Let's bring this all in again together. And now you can kind of hear how that's completely changed the sound, completely changed the sound of the kit. So as you can see, vast range of percussive drum sounds are available within these new synths. A fantastic new feature within the Machine 2.0 software and they are compatible with Machine 2, Machine 1 and the Machine Micro controllers.